Carburetor maintenance for your large frame Vespa is rather easy and shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes of your time. So by following all the steps in this video you will learn how to properly remove, take apart, clean, replace worn out parts, assemble, and finally reattach your carburetor to your vintage Vespa. First things first, to start with, go ahead and purchase a Delorto carburetor rebuild kit that's appropriate to the carburetor on your Vespa from your local scooter shop or from one of the scooter shops found online. Next, before getting started on any mechanical job, it's always best to prep your work area and have the tools ready that you might need for this particular job. Start by pulling the following tools. A bladed and Phillips head screwdriver, socket wrench with 8mm, 10mm, and 11mm head, and possibly a 2 inch spanner, small needle nose pliers, lastly you'll need rubber work gloves and a few shop rags. Now, let's get started on pulling the carb out of your Vespa. Let's first start off by pulling the right side engine cowl. You'll want to remove the cowl in order to expose the engine and the carburetor air box on top of the engine. Make sure that the cowl is set aside and out of the way at this point. Next step, you'll want to remove the air box top found at the top of the engine. To do this, you can either use a bladed screwdriver or an 8mm socket wrench. Start by simply unscrewing the two hex screws found at either end of the air box. Once you've unscrewed and removed them, simply lift the air box off. This will expose the air filter on top of the carburetor. Oh, don't forget to place the air box top aside but within arm's reach. You're going to want to put most of your parts into it, into it. Now that you've removed the air box top, you'll want to remove the air filter. For this part of the job, you'll need a bladed screwdriver. Start by fully unscrewing the two flush screws found on top of the filter that fit nearly flush with the air filter. The air filter can now be removed by lifting it straight up. For the next step, we're going to disconnect the fuel line to the carburetor. For this step, you're going to need either a 10mm socket wrench or a bladed screwdriver. Start by finding the fuel banjo, which is located at the front of the carburetor. To remove this, You'll start by loosening the banjo to the point where it disconnects. Be careful not to lose the bolt or the two paper gaskets found at either end of the banjo. Place these aside. Next step, we're going to remove the choke cable. For this, you're going to need a pair of needle nose pliers and a bladed screwdriver. First, locate it by finding the only cable with a small loop on the end that connects to the front of the carburetor. Now, using the bladed screwdriver, you're going to pry open that actuation. With the help of the needle nose pliers, you should be able to free the cable from the choke actuating lever. Now we're nearly ready to pull the carburetor out of the air box. But first, we have to locate the two special nuts that attach the carburetor to the air box. Simply look for the two 11mm bolts on either side of the carb. These are going to be the two bolts that we need to remove. To unscrew these, you're going to need the 11mm socket on a small spanner. Start by loosening one of the bolts about a quarter of a turn and then going over to the other one and loosening it a quarter of a turn until both of them have actually loosened. After that, you can loosen them just like you would normal bolts. Anyway, as each bolt becomes loose, you should be able to hand loosen them until they detach from the airbox. Now we're ready to actually pull the carburetor out of the gearbox. Now with your left hand, grip the top of the carburetor and lift upward slowly. If you have to, you might have to jiggle it just a little bit and it should come free. Lastly, take one of those uh, rags that you have and stick it into the bottom of the airbox. This should keep anything from accidentally being dropped into the now exposed hole into the heart of your engine. Trust me, you don't want to find out later that you've dropped a washer or a bolt down there. 